What's up guys? Welcome back to 4Y Trucking. Kyle here with you uh, to another video. We're here at Baxter Springs with CJ Foods. They make Alfia dog food. All kinds of uh, all kinds of top name brand stuff they do. If you can't hear that, uh, we've actually just started pumping. Rich just did his first, uh, is doing his first pumping job. So, um, I, I have to give him kudos. It's like he watched the video a whole bunch of times that kind of taught him how to do it. Uh, so, he kind of knew what to do. <laughs> We're having fun over here. Uh, so, got pumping refined chicken fat. And uh, a lovely little unboxed trailer. It actually needs to go to the shop, but mm, I have to tell to tell dispatch they need to send that stupid thing to the shop first. But uh, yeah, here's the thing about uh, the unbox. If uh, you don't got a box, I'm gonna put all your sh on the ground. To stop it from uh, leaking. So that's what we gotta do. Gotta do. Gotta do. By the way, it's not cold up here in Kansas. The wind is just blowing really, really hard, and that's cold. So. Oh, oh yeah. Hmm. I'm checking the hose. It doesn't seem like it's pumping, but it is. I can see it. Ah. Ah. I'm actually feeling 110%. I still got a little sinusy stuff from uh, the cold temperatures swapping back and forth. Because um, we had a couple of nights where we were like 70 degrees. And then, you know, and then we went back into the 30s and stuff. So, uh, <coughs> after this, we're going to be in Springfield for, uh, for the rest of the day, probably tomorrow as well. Um, I gotta get preventative maintenance done. Um, oil change, fuel filters, chassis lube, um, APU service, uh, and that'll cover all my services for about two students <laughs> or a student and a half, something like that. But, uh, yep. Uh, the next little clip I've got. Uh, I gotta set up, uh, you'll see, uh, we're gonna take apart the pump and check the, uh, O-ring on it to, uh, make sure that it's, uh, not torn apart. Uh, I would have done this with some of the other trailers, but the cabinet trailers, it's really, really hard to see inside and around and get a good view with the camera of, um, what, uh, what's actually going on. So this one doesn't have a cabinet, so it's much easier to film it. So now, yeah, a lot of these, um, a lot of these trailers, you'll want to, you know, double check your seal in your pump, uh, just in case, uh, especially on the food grade side, guys, uh, if that seal's no good and, uh, you just start pumping and you can't contain your spill, you're kind of fucked. So, pet food side, sometimes you can contain it a lot better. Um, and uh, some of the customers kind of just be like, hey, just throw some cat litter on it. It'll be just fine. So, but it all depends on the customer. Even if, no matter, uh, no matter if the customer is going to just throw some cat litter on it or just like spray with a water hose, uh, you always have to report your spills. So, you know, um, you. no matter what report your spills and do what you're supposed to they don't count against you because you know it's, shit sometimes a spill happens so hi right, guys this next little clip it's gonna be us taking apart the uh the pump and then i'll have a clip afterwards of us getting into springfield so that'll be good all right guys we're fixing to take apart a uh 08 uh inedibles trailer uh pump so you can see exactly how this is done it's a lot easier to see on these trailers than a cabinet trailer 
So first thing you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna take off all four of your nuts. Oh, this Kansas wind. Yeah, that's crazy. At least it's not like negative 10 or something. Ooh. So now while he's doing that, y'all see that this is one of the older like Milky Way trailers. It's kind of uh, converted over to a full-blown prime trailer uh, with a pump. So after you get those off, you're gonna take your uh, take your case off. can see the seal, which is a good thing we checked this because the seal wasn't all the way in. You'll then inspect your seal if it's needing to be replaced. Uh, you'll replace it. Uh, you can get extra seals from the terminals such as Pittston, uh, Decatur, uh, Manuka when they get set up, and uh, Springfield. It's actually pretty good in their slices. Yep, it's a really good uh, seal. Yep. Then you double check in here. And it looks pretty good. I don't see any issues. A little, a little crusty and whatnot. Clean. So, get our seal back in. doesn't want to get dirty. I've had that my time. <laughs> now this this seal will be a, a little bit of a pain in the ass because it does it doesn't fit fit like it probably should. Doesn't roll in like it wants to. <laughs> well I would say a little water pump grease or something that's not uh Super chemically, like a Vaseline, but hold it in, hold it in place while you uh, get your shit together. Maybe like a, some of this stuff gonna get into the product. So I'll see how it works. Yeah, a little bit of Vaseline or something like that on it to kind of get it to stick in there. As long as you don't use too much and it starts to overflow out of it. Yeah. Uh, actually, in the Prime video. If you're not a Prime driver, you don't have access to this video, but uh, uh, through Prime's actual app and their classroom videos, they actually have a how to fully take this apart, even including taking the propellers out and looking at the, uh, the transmission seals in the back for the, uh, the propellers. Um, now that some of they expect us to the transmission leak and they expect us to... Yes. We do have the seal, so if your transmission, the back of the pump back here starts to leak, we do have seals to fix it up to this point. So you'll, or your equipment will be available to fix it at this point. If it leaks any further back this way, uh, you're kind of screwed and you just need to We're kind of close on the protect, so the protect the seal. Uh, I don't know if the terminal, because we're so close to them, would actually come out and fix it. It would just be one of those get it emptied and then uh, shuttle it to shuttle it to terminal and get it fixed. I'm assuming not to put too much mustard on this, I think we're going to strip them out with a uh, Yeah, a really, really good hand tight. You'll want it tightened uh, a good decent amount. You don't want to get it to strip or... Well, I just with a little free wrap. Uh, yeah. So three quarter inch size by the way. But yeah, by the way, that's uh, that's how you do that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. It's Kyle here. Uh, so we finished that load up in Baxter Springs when we came to Springfield. We've been sitting here for the day. Uh, got the truck maintenance, oil changed, fuel filters, air filters, everything. Um, then... Um, We've done shower laundries and everything. 
and now we got to pick up to tomorrow in Verona, Missouri, going to uh, Orangeburg, South Carolina. And so, uh, pretty much that's it. Um, uh, pretty much that's it for the update. Uh, it's been raining pretty heavy here uh, tonight, uh, it's Friday night. Uh, so, uh, strong ass thunderstorms came through. Had a tornado warning for a little bit, but you know, everything's good here at the terminal. Uh, so, hi right, guys, uh, y'all want to come to uh, Prime? Get in touch with Dustin. Tell him I sent sent you. Uh, you know, uh, if you've got questions for me, I've got multiple different ways to contact me now. Uh, I got my Twitter. I've got uh, my Discord still. Um, and then I've got the driver lineup uh, social media invite. Uh, I'm just my name and my logo is in there. So you'll be able to find me pretty easy. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. If y'all got questions, you can contact me. Um, if I don't respond to your comments on YouTube, don't get discouraged. Just try to message me one of those other um, media platforms because I've been having issues with comments not being visible for me. I get a notification for the comment and the person who sent the comment, but I wouldn't be able to actually read the comment. So y'all can actually message me if you have a question and I don't answer it on YouTube through the comments, then if you could actually uh, message me from one of the other media outlets and I'll actually get to you. Uh, I'm not trying to ignore people. Uh, I'm just trying to be as helpful as possible, but uh, technology is being a little twat sometimes. So I got to do what I got to do. So, uh, Y'all be good out there, be safe, be yourselves, and peace out, guys.